don't be fooled. There are mistakes that can be made inside of Warcraft Rumble. Today, I'm going to share with you at least five mistakes that I've made on my journey inside of the game to try to warn you and prevent you from making the same ones. We're going to start right off, right off the bat with skills. All of your both minis and your leaders have three skills. As you can see, they are different for each of the skills. The cool thing about skills are they unlock at three different stages, at three stars, 10 stars, and 25 stars. It's clearly pretty easy to unlock a three star on your hero, on your mini, on your leader. But you get to choose where you spend it most of the time, whether you're working the grid or just making your choice. Now, it takes a little bit longer to get your hero to 10 stars and it takes a lot longer to get your leader to 25. So what you need to do is make sure that you get to know all of the skills before choosing that first skill at three stars and choose the one that's the best. As you can see in my Thalnos right here, I chose a skill that I don't really like very much. Dominance, spells costing four or more grant an additional level. I don't use a ton of spells. Thalnos deck has actually zero spells in it, so I'm not getting that extra level, and really it was a wasted skill. I would have probably rather have gotten Drain Life, or even Bane in that instance. So I made a mistake, jumped on the first skill that became available, and now I have to wait until he gets to 10 stars before I can get that next level. And as you can see, we have zero out of 10. But where do you get this kind of stuff? Through the normal grind, of course, but also through the grid, which takes us to our next do not make this mistake. First of all, gold. I have 295. It's extremely rare to come through gold inside of the game. It's not easy. It's difficult. It takes time. And don't buy things on the grid that you don't want or that you don't need. Some things that I try to do with the grid are, I try to buy any minis or spells that I have yet to unlock. Notice, three troops I have yet to discover. That's not that many. I've been working for a while now, for a few weeks, to unlock all of them. If one shows up on the grid, I'm gonna make sure that I grab it. But also, diving deeper into the grid, make sure you understand this thing. Because when you choose something, other things leave the grid. Notice, if I were to buy this Jaina right here, everything that lit up, or I should actually say dulled out in a darker color, will be removed and the grid will fall. So everything in the right-hand lane, that's all gonna drop once I purchase her, and everything across the middle is also going to disappear. So if I were to do that, but I also wanted to buy Tyrion, Tyrion would be gone and I would not be able to buy those stars from the grid until it gets refreshed. Don't be scared to use five gold to maneuver things around the grid so it works more effectively for you. It's a smart play and it's actually worth doing. Also, if the grid has nothing on it, you can recycle the grid utilizing a recycle grid button and these come limited, but you can accumulate a good amount of them. Recently, I've had 10 and I just used a few the other day for a video. So if you wanna switch it and completely refresh the grid, Use your button, do it, and see what else you can get. I did put a video out exclusively explaining the grid. If you missed that one, it's one you'll probably want to watch so you can get the most value out of the grid, understand it, and make sure that you don't really, you know, mess yourself up along the way. Now, there's events that happen inside of the game as well. And right now, we don't actually have any Arclight events, but we do have our daily of activities that we can do. You want to complete these every single day. There are three that go across right over your quests in PvP. It's important that you do these because they give you free rewards, free upgrades to your minis, to your leaders, to your spells, and essentially free progression for your account. But in addition to that, you also have your quests. Notice right now in my quests, my reward in shards is 105. It's a three times bonus, and this comes multiple times throughout the day. Three times bonuses and five times bonuses. 
I don't want to miss this because I'm going to be able to get three times the upgrade on a card, hero, mini, troop, or spell that I choose. Right now, I would probably choose the Huntress because she's one of my favorites, but I don't want to miss out on these three times or five times bonus quests. They're very valuable, and again, they offer a lot of free upgrades to your account. So when you see it, jump on it, dive on into it. In addition to that, you need to dive in to your Battle.net account. Notice my Echo Gaming account has been linked with Battle.net. This is how I secure my account. If I go get a new phone, if I go get a new tablet, or if I wanna play on multiple devices, my account and all of my progress is linked on Battle.net. This may be the most important tip on this video because soon we're gonna start seeing people getting new phones saying, I lost all of my progress. I've been playing for four months and my progress is gone. And that feels bad. Make sure you back it up and it's easy to do utilizing Battle.net. So Blizzard made it really easy for us and uh, it worked out well. Now, another thing that you wanna not miss are Arclight events. I touched on these a little bit ago inside of the video. And again, on my channel, I have multiple videos featuring Arclight events and explaining what they are. But as you can see on the map right here, all of the nodes, all of the green dots, well, they're green. That means I completed them. The ones with the red icons on them, I have yet to complete. And when they are lit up in a bright blue, two zones, this will happen to, I believe twice a week, sometimes three, that is an arc light event. Arc light events are huge inside of the game, not only because they give you gold, but also they help you level up your PvP war chest. You can upgrade all of this with your guild with arc light events or with PVP matches. When you start filling out these circles, you will get rewards for unlocking. Notice we've already gotten one Alliance family tome. This was great. It allowed me to upgrade some troops. I can do the same thing here once we get the Horde family up. And you could even go as far as unlocking new leaders. We have right here, Wind Runner. Once we get through that first bar as a guild, a 15 person guild working together, we unlock a new leader for free. This prevents you from having to go and buy it over in the shop. Where of course you get some other things as well, some upgrade tomes, some uh, emotes, some gold, but you don't have to actually pay for the leader if you could unlock it inside of the events that are going on inside of the game. The game offers us a lot, a lot of activities, a lot of events, a lot of fun things to do. We didn't even touch on dungeons, which are also a fun thing that you can do inside of the game. We didn't even touch on PVP, which is another great thing with more rewards that you can get inside of the game as well. If you're brand new, figure out how to play the game on the map. Play a little bit of PVE. Learn your minis. Learn your leaders and make sure that you're ready for PvP so you don't get frustrated. And when you do get frustrated in PvP, pop back over to the quests and do a few things over there so that you don't get upset, you don't rage quit, and you continuously enjoy Warcraft Rumble. I think the game is excellent. I absolutely love it. And I hope that you guys decide to subscribe and follow me on my journey with all of my guides to make you a better player in Warcraft Rumble.